here we are in Norway. We're going to do a track walk right now. We were going to dress up as Vikings, but we couldn't find any costumes, so we brought Matty instead. Yeah, I bumped into Steve at the airport and hitched a lift with MT and thought, you know, I'd do the track walk with you and show you some lines and get the old man go a little bit faster this week. Sweet, mate. I think I'll need them this yeah. week. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. This track's awesome. You drop straight out of that start gate. We stood on the first jump now and the start gate's like 50 foot up there. And uh, you're straight into a nice rhythm section all the way down. Big floaty jumps, really well made. Pretty excited to ride this top section again. Yeah, we're just at the end of the first straight here. Flat out, uh, big hip to the left just there. And then you come hauling ass into this section here. Um, remember last year getting on that rock and then and going straight through that way, but things might have changed this year. It just depends on the sort of angle that you're coming in, but I think that's going to be the line for me. And then uh, set up a little bit to get wired into this first tree section. A nice little flat rock there, you can take off, skim that pad and get backside after that big flat rock there yeah. and that's just straight line straight through it'd make you commit more by getting off the brakes a little bit earlier because you knew you had to clear that gap but i think it's a pretty hard takeoff it's really rough coming into it <clears throat> nothing's changed on the track so far from last year it's really dry and um, we're in the second lot of woods here and you're gonna have to break a little bit coming in, but so far it's just fast as anything because it's so dry. It's scary through here. Yeah, we just come hauling ass out of the second sort of little wooded section. Um, fast nip through this little wood and then you're into a bit of a bike parky section. Um, I remember this being really fun last year, just really well built berms, you're hauling ass but the berms catch you really nice, so uh, just moving into that section now. Real high speed section, you've got a Mach 10 berm here, no brakes that you just hit really hard but the, the hard thing about it, that turn's not that hard to hit quick but it's getting move back over quick enough to get into this right hand there and carry a lot of speed out of it. Here it is, the big, infamous road gap. Yeah. <laughs> um, it actually looks alright this year. I think they've changed something on it, like they've fixed it a little bit. The, the left line was like a little bit worn away last year and um, it looks all right this year, so I think if you try and soak it up this year, you're going to land flat on the road, so it's hook or don't hook this year, I think. This is where I messed up in my race run last year. I ended up going straight over that berm there and into the bushes at the other side. Messed it up. Yeah, last bit of the bobsleigh, a couple of good turns, some jumps. Got some free rider. Yes, McCaro! Pin it! Bit of old school there for you, Sean McCarroll. Sneaky side of the track practice. Yeah, we've just come off high, high speed. And uh, we're coming into really the, the most technical wood. It's a really rocky, hard wood down here. Then. Uh, thin little ledge you've got to get on here and if I remember right it comes into a hard left with like just rocks all over and then the, this is the famous rock garden section. It looks a lot worse than it actually is once you stay in your line but as soon as you get offline then it gets a bit interesting for yourself but it's the same thing if it's wet then like all the edges kind of keep you in the straight line so you just got to let the bike flow through it well, 
flying into the grassy open left hander um, where Matty had the fastest speed trap in uh, qualifying last year. Yeah, that's right. I think it might be a bit slower this year because you got a, there was a wooden kick here before and you're going to jump over that. Matty's tip for this section is death grip from the red pole and you'll be fast. Oh, you got to get your tuck on though. Couple of, yeah, a couple of high speed flattish corners. Um, this big left here, I'll probably swing a foot out on this one I reckon. Bit of stability, tripod it round. And then um, yeah, a bit of a pedal on into the last like technical wood. Um, quite rocky, awkward little wood. A lot of rocks and this section here is really rough. Um, they've taped a line off there that used to come inside and it set you up pretty good for this. But now it just takes you into the thick of it. Yeah, it's pretty hard because you really tired. It's right, right before the finish and you got to make sure that you can you know, stay focused and not lose your concentration because this is one of the hardest <coughs> bit on a track because you're really yeah. tired. And the you section can last year was wet, wasn't it? Like all the rocks were just like polished and wet. So like try and get in a straight line, it just was throwing you all over in there. It looks yeah. dry now, so it looks a lot better at the moment. But like Marty said, you're so tired at the bottom here. And then you've got a bit of a sprint down to the finish line. XCE, I think it's a, um, um, I don't know. What do you think? Pedal, 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 get it! Nice! Well, front wheel case, but he got over. It's just all you need. Here we are, at the bottom of the track. Um, that was Hafiel track walk. Thanks, Matty. Yeah. It was good. Cheers for the good lift. To see Steve. you again after you've had a bit of a year out, haven't you? Yeah, thanks. After you walking too. that, do you wish you were going to be racing it this weekend? Um, I'd like to do the practice. Not sure I'd want to race, but Just it practice. felt good to walk the track and kind of do the, you know, do the same old thing. And I saw you gotta admit, looking at some crazy lines. Yeah, I got to admit I do miss it once I walk down the track. So yeah, you no, know, it was, it was, it was. Want to borrow track. my jersey and play it and do do a run tomorrow? Oh yeah, for sure. Bike might be a bit big, but you can have a go. Yeah, I'll have a go. Good to see you, mate. Yeah, cheers, dude.